the radio show, or outside the studio with Kyle Patrick Alvarez after our interview, and we had a wonderful uh, chat. We had some Skype callers as well, and um, one question we didn't get to um, during the show is, you know, hindsight being 2020, um, what have you learned with easier with practice that you're now applying to COG and girls? I think the biggest thing I learned was that at the end of the day, it's better to stick with, you know, you think when you, you try to always go back to that place that what was it that motivated you to start making the film in the first place and always take that with you every step along the way. So that's what I'm trying to do now with, with, you know, doing a genre picture and doing this new thing it was like going like, what was that first feeling I had that I got so excited that I was like, oh, I'm going to write this into a script and I'm going to do this. Like, and trying to remember that because there's so many things, there's so many elements, there's money, there's so many people, there's actors, there's agents, there's industry, there's distribution, all the other stuff we could talk about. But in the end of the day, all you're really trying to do is capture that first spark of excitement you got. And so staying true to that, I think, is, is what I learned that I'm going to at least hopefully aspire to to continue on through my projects and at the end of the day be like, oh, I'm just as, hopefully just as excited about it as the first day I had the idea. So, if, you know, you have that spark, what about the times when there's that inertia where it's like, you know what, this has dragged on for a while, and I just don't want to sit at the computer and look at this today? I mean, I, I think everybody's been there. How do you fight through that, though? How do you rekindle that when maybe it's died a little bit? Yeah, I think, I, you know, fatigue, because you have to spend years, you know, with, with one thing, usually, and... Um, you know, for me, it's, sometimes it's usually, like, music or, like, specific scenes, you know? It's like I always... There's some that I can always go back to in every project, and I'm like, that's the scene I want to make the movie for, you know? And everything is built around that. It's that great quote... I'm going to forget who said it, but, like, I think it's... I think it's... Oh, shoot. Not Howard Hawks. Someone said it, where it was, like, a, a, a good movie... A movie needs three good scenes and no bad ones. You know, like, I always... And, and like, and there's... That sounds a little cynical, but I think it's, like, there's always... I think you think, like, that's the beat. That's the moment, you know, that I want to make that movie for. And that's that initial spark. And, um... And sort of being, like... And you just, I just remember it. It's usually, like, a song I was thinking of or that I was listening to when I was writing that I associate with the movie, whether it ends up being on the soundtrack or not. But something like that, that when I'm, I'm getting a little... Like, oh, or whatever, I go back to that initial thing, and then I'm like, oh, that's right, that's what it felt with. Some kind of sense memory. Now it sounds like I'm talking like an actor, but, you know, like a sense memory thing that reminds you what, you were what you're hoping to capture with the film.